Greetings. This is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have the Graf von Faber-Castell Pen of the Year 2011. 2011 marked the 250th anniversary of Faber-Castell's founding in 1761. For this quarter of a millennium occasion, Faber-Castell chose Russian jade from Siberia as the special material and 1761 as the series size in honor of its founding year. Starting at the top, we have Graf von Faber-Castell engraved, along with the very first piece of faceted jade. The cap and other trim are all platinum plated. You can see a nice flare at the top from the otherwise straight cap. The clip is spring-loaded, which I like. At the bottom of the cap, you have Graf von Faber-Castell engraved again, along with handmade in Germany. The hexagonal body is where you really get to see the lovely jade. Six pieces of Russian jade are inserted in panels. Five of the pieces are polished, but the sixth one has subtle engravings. Jade is such a beautiful gemstone. The end cap has some engraved lines to give just a bit of grip to remove it revealing the knob of the filling mechanism. And you can see the pen of the year 2011 engraved as well as the pen number and series size. The end cap also has the pen of the year 2011 engraved and the eighth piece of jade. There are eight pieces of jade to represent the eight generations of family members that have supported the family business. I'll put the end cap back on. The pen weighs 82 grams. Now opening up the pen reveals a two-tone, 18 karat gold nib with a Faber-Castell coat of arms. The grip section has a window to check ink levels and is smooth with a taper and then a flare at the end. The taper and flare add better grip than I expected from a polish section, but still not quite enough for my liking. It can be posted, but I find it's a little bit back heavy. Unposted, it is nicely balanced. Taking a quick look at the packaging material, it comes in a large, very nice wooden box. The top is highly polished with basically a matching jade color. Opening up, you have nice hinges, a plate that talks about the pen of the year 2011. This whole center section actually can be lifted out and be used as a standalone stand for the pen. There's a lower drawer that has more information, including this very nice, very detailed a booklet about the pen. It talks about the family, uh, about the jade, some materials, how it's used. Uh, again, really well done. Great images on the pamphlet. There's a kind of a warranty booklet and their certificate. Well, there you have it. The Graf von Faber-Castell Pen of the Year 2011. Lovely design and wonderful use of jade. Worthy of the 250th anniversary of Faber-Castell. Please leave comments below, take a look at my other reviews, and subscribe to Primarily Pens. I'll have additional reviews soon.